Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to get the last day of the month in Salesforce. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic experience. So to get a last day of the month using a Salesforce formula, we have to use the date, today, year and the month function of Salesforce together. So now let's proceed and learn to get the last day of the month using the Salesforce Lightning experience with the help of an example. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default I am in a Salesforce Lightning experience if you are not firstly shipped to the Lightning one. After that you have to move to the main setup of the page. I am already in. If you are not, you have to click on this gear icon and here we have a button of a setup. Click on it and you will redirect to the page that is visible to my screen. After that, you can see that here we have an object manager option that is located in the top navigation bar next to the home tab. Click on that. You will get the list of all the objects that are available in Salesforce. Either it be a custom or a standard. Now it's time to choose the object in which you want to get the last day of the month. So let's see an example for the camping object. So I search for the camping in a quick find box and here I click on the camping object. After that you can see that it shows us a camping object manager page and on a left side I have an option of a field and relationship. I click on it as I want to create a new field for the formula in which I create a formula for getting up the last day of the month. So for creating a new field I have to click on this new button that is on a top right side. I click on it. It redirects to the page which shows me a multiple fields that are available in Salesforce. But as I am creating a formula for getting up the last day of the month, so I have to choose the formula field type. So I click the radio button next to it and click on the next button to move to the next step. So when I click on the next step, it asks me to give a field label. So I set the field label as a upcoming camping day and when I click on the field name it automatically populated when you scroll down you can see that it shows us a section of a formula return type so as we are going to fetch out the last day of the month so we need a date as a return type so I click the radio button next to the date and click on the next to move ahead then in the third step, you have to enter the formula for upcoming camping date uh, that you want to get from the last day of the month. So on the left hand side, you can see that we have a section of a functions. You can select multiple functions that we are going to use for getting the last day of the month for the upcoming date of a camping. So as I have told you, we will use the multiple function of a Salesforce. So let's create a formula for it first. So here I enter the formula. I will explain you this formula in journal. So here we are checking whether the month of the end date. Here I pass the end date as a field and here I use the if function, month function, date function, year function as a Salesforce function for getting up the last day of the month. So here I am checking whether the month of the end date is 12. If it is, we are setting the day as a 31. You can see that here I am setting up the day as a 31 and month has a 12. So here I pass the month value as a 12 and the year same as the end date. So here I fetch the year using the year function of the end date. So if not, if, if the end date month is not 12, we are basically incrementing the month of the end date. So here you can see that for this I use the month function with the end date and I add 1 to it for getting the increment of the 1 month and set the year as a same of the end date by using the year function I fetch it again and then the day as a 1. So here I set the day as a 1. Then in order to determine the last day of the month we finally deduct the 1 from it. So here I am minus 1 from this date. So basically this function gives the first date of the next month. But we need the last day of the month 
or a previous month for this we are subtracting one from it so to check that whether it is true or not we click on this check syntax it shows that there is no syntax error in the function so we will proceed by adding the description or help text if we want and you can also treat the blank field as a zero and a blanks if you want after that i click on the next button to proceed to the next step and in this step we have to choose the profile to whom i want to grant the edit access of this field so i want to grant the edit access of this field to each and every profile so i simply click on the check box next to the visible and click the next button to proceed ahead now in this step i have to add the page layout so stamping only one page layout is there so it is already checked that uh, the camping page layout contain this field so i remain the setting as it is and click on the save button to save this process so with this we simply create a formula that uh, get the last day of the month in a salesforce lightning so to check that whether it is working or not i go to my app launcher search for the camping object I randomly open a campaign that is already created. I move to its detail section, and here you can see that the upcoming date of a campaign is a thirtieth of a four month two thousand twenty three, and it is based on the end date because the end date is a sixth of the fourth month two thousand twenty three. So with this, we have learned for the lightning experience. Now we will proceed and learn to get the last day of the month for the Salesforce Classic also. So let's click on the profile, and from here we get option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic, and by using it we move to the Classic experience first. And now here on the top we have option of a setup. Click on it. So here it open the classic setup. Now scroll down on the left side. You can see that we have a build section. Under this build section, we have a customize drop down. Click on it, and here you will get all the objects that are available in Salesforce. It contains both the objects that are standards and the custom. Now it's time to choose the object from which you want to get the last day of the month. So this time I am going to choose the product. After that, I click on a fields, and we are going to create a new field for the formula. And then you have to scroll down and click on this new button to create a new field for the formula. So now it's redirect to the new page where we have to choose the field type. As we are going to create a formula for getting up the last day of the month, I click on the formula radio button and click the next to proceed. After that, I have to choose the field label. So I set the field label name as a payment due. date and when i click on the field name it automatically populated now when i scroll down it asked me to choose the formula return type so as we are getting up the last day of the month i select it as a date and click on the next button to proceed so now it asked me to enter the formula for getting up the last day of the month to get the value of the payment due date so here on the left side we have a function section i will use the necessary function that i need for uh, getting up the last day of the month and uh, here i enter my formula so to check that whether it is correct or not i click on the check syntax button so it shows me that there is no syntax error now i explain you basically in this uh, formula i want to find out the last day of the month and set up the payment due date according to it Uh, so, so I am going to use the same uh, advanced uh, formula method that I used in the lightning experience. But I explain you again. So here you can see that here I use the purchase underscore date underscore underscore C, which is a custom field from underscore underscore C. We know that, and the field name is purchase date field. Uh, we use for uh, getting up the payment due date. So here I check that whether this field uh, month end is twelve or not by using this if statement. I fetching out the month of this date and set equals to twelve to check whether it is twelve or not. If it is twelve, here I use a uh, date 
function which fetch out the year from it and I set its year as it is, change its uh, month to 12 and set its date to 31. If the month is not 12, the month is uh, other than the 12, I use the date function, fetch the year from the date and uh, I set the date same as it is of the purchase date. Then I use the month function to fetch out the month of this purchase date and I increment it by 1 with the help of a plus 1 and set its uh, day to 1. Then to get the last day of the month, uh, I subtract the minus 1 from it as this formula gives us the uh, next uh, first day of the month. And from getting the last day of the month, we subtract 1 from it. So you can add the description and help text you want and even you can want to handle the blank fields, you can handle it. After that, click on the next button to proceed. And uh, now it's time to set up the field level security. Uh, in this step, basically we are granting the access to the profiles to which can edit this field easily. So I want to grant this access to all provide. I click the visible checkbox and click the next button to proceed. And now at this time we have to select the page layout to set up this field to the page layout of the product. So I click on the save button without doing anything. Now to check whether it is working or not, I click on this plus icon. It shows me all the items that are available in Salesforce. Now I search for the products here. So after finding the products, let's click on a uh, product here. So basically here the purchase date is not fill up. So let's fill up this purchase date first. I click on the edit and I set the purchase date as 6th of February 2023. And you can see that the payment due date is 28th of February 2023. Because the February has only 28 days in this year. So it will set the last day of the month as a 28th of February. So with this we have learned to get up the last day of the month in a Salesforce classic also. So if this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.